Hey guys, this is Dabs Nation Mill. I once built this simple website with WYSIWYG Web Builder where I actually have a tutorial of that. So if you haven't watched that yet, I would really encourage you to watch that before this one. So this is going to focus on making the website responsive. So I'm going to get started by showing you the number of pages involved. These are just two pages, the index page and the master page. So I'm going to start by creating the breakpoints I'm going to need and I'll start this on the master page. So I'm going to need a couple of breakpoints in here. So when I come to the manage breakpoints um, icon here, I go ahead to click on add and then specify the breakpoints I want to create. So in this case, I'm going to create for 320. I'm going to create for 480. I'll go ahead to create for 768. So let me just create for 768. And then I'll add for 960. I'll also add for 1024. And then I'll finally, um, not finally, I'll add for 1200 and then finally add for 1400 as well. So um, you can see that this has a lot of breakpoints involved. So I click on OK and then click on OK. Now I can go to the index page and then do same here. So let me just go by um, the breakpoint manager, add the number of breakpoints that I'm going to need for this particular project. So add for 768 and then I'll also add for 960, continue to 1024. And then I will also add for 1200 and then finally 1400. So this are the breakpoints that I need for this particular um, project. So after adding the breakpoints, it is now time to make it responsive. But I'm going to start off by going to the master page. And this is where I'm going to start making everything responsive. And once I'm done for this particular page, I'll continue to the index page. So I'll go ahead to the very first breakpoint from my right hand side, which is 1400 and that ends over here. So this means that I'll have to reduce um, the position as well as the sizes of the objects I have in here. So I'll start off with this, which I'll make it 1400. This is also going to be 1400. And then I'll come to the bottom section as well, change this to 1400. And then there's also 2400. Now you notice that I have another layer in here, which also has to be changed to 2400. So that has been done um, as well. Uh, let me just um, undo this, undo, because I have these um, objects positioned in this particular layer, I have to make sure they are still in this layer so that it doesn't um, affect the work. So I'm going to have this here. This is actually supposed to be um, a docking layer, which is holding on to this particular layer at the top in here. So I'll now move this into this and then I'll go ahead to reposition the logo somewhere to the left over here. Just making sure I have like sort of even, even spacing um, with the uh, menu icon here. So that you saw the lines, the grid lines, which uh, makes me see that this is actually um, even. Next is I'll come to the footer section and then I'll go about the position of these items. I don't want to change the way they are arranged. So I'm going to hold on the shift key and then select all of them one after the other. And then I'll go ahead to reposition them. So I'll select the icons that I have here as well. And then I'll move it to the left hand side a little bit. Once I get a guide in the middle, you're prompting me that this is actually in the middle. I'm going to leave it here. So as you can see, this is exactly the middle, both horizontally as well as vertically. So I'm done with this. Next, as you notice that I have some objects hidden, that is a menu object as well as, uh, yes. So it's also good for me to reposition them so that I don't, you know, have them mispositioned or positioned in a wrong way. So I'm going to um, do that. So you notice that this particular layer or this um, close or menu icon has moved away from this layer because I repositioned um, it. So I have to move it back 
and then you notice same for the logo as well so that's normal because i'm using two layers at the same position so i'll make sure this is aligned properly to this um to the right hand side that is fine so i'll go ahead and then hide this particular layer and then i'll make sure the close is still in the white layer so that is fine so i'm basically down for this particular section next will be to do the same for the other breakpoint i'm going to navigate to the 1200 pixel breakpoint and then let me move this out of this first let me bring this to the front let me do the repositioning here before i go ahead to uh, position all of them back into the layer at the top so i reposition this hold on the shift key select this in addition and uh, before that let me just resize um, this so you notice that it's not coming because i have a hidden object in it which is the close icon so let me sh um, show that and then position that on top of this and then i'll change the size of this to 1200 and then i can go ahead to hide the close icon now and then what i'll do next is to select these um, objects and then reposition them exactly in the middle by the help of the guide and then after doing so i'll have to come back and then show the close icon so that i make sure it is positioned exactly on top of the menu icon after doing that i'll have to hide it and then i'll change the size of this um, docking layer at the top to 1200 and then i'll move this into it i'll go ahead to change the size of um, the content place over here to 1200 and then i'll also need to have the footer to be 1200 so let me just see how best i can achieve that so i'll do so by moving this um to a bit to the left and let me just try to okay still not up to 1200 so i might have to start moving this a little bit to the right to the left and then go ahead to um, see if I can resize this. So it's not going to allow me to do it up to 1200. So let me go ahead and then move these icons also to the right a little bit to match this particular menu items here. And then I'll change the um, size of this as well. I think I forgot to change the size of this for this particular breakpoint. Okay, that has been done here. So let me just come back here. Next, I'm going to go ahead to um, distribute evenly that is the spacing between these items so i'll do so by uh, selecting this and then i'll make sure the headings are all aligned to the left of um, the menu so i'll select on them and then align them to the left and then after doing that i'll select all these menu items and then i'll make sure they are positioned exactly in the middle that is um vertically yeah so that's exactly in the middle vertically and then i'll go ahead to align these also to this and then i'll reposition these ones a little bit so they're sort of um even spacing from here to here so i think i'm done with this section the next thing will be to do for the navigation um hidden item here which is under navigation uh you notice that is also in a layer so i'll go ahead to reposition this to um match the object here that is the alignment here and then after doing that i'm going to change the size of this particular layer to 1400 i'm sorry 1200 and then after doing that i'll go ahead to hide this particular um layer let me just go back here and make sure i did same here so unfortunately this particular layer is showing which isn't good so i'll need to change that to thousand um the size of this 2400 instead of 1600 and then i need to have my navigation object in it so that's it and i'll go ahead to hide it and that should be about it for here as working on this one important thing is to have it save at every point so i'll use ctrl s at um, each point to have it saved so i'm done with the um, 1200 pixel as well i'm going to head to the 10 24 pixels i'll first move this out so that once i reposition this it doesn't you know um stick in this particular layer so i'll select these objects move them a little bit to the left allowing some space into the uh, right hand edge and then i'll resize this to 1024 so that's not possible because i have an icon in there so i need to show the icon 
and then I need to move it on top of maybe this for it now. Change the size of this to 1200. That, that's 1024. And um, move move this a little bit to the back. So I have you know my search icon, um, search button here as well as the icon showing properly. And then next will be to reposition all of them exactly in the middle of the layer. So I'll first hide the close icon. Select all these um, objects and then I'll uh, try to position them exactly in the middle of this layer, that's vertically. And then once that is done, I'll go ahead to show back my close icon here, which should be exactly on top of this uh, menu icon. So once that is done, I'll resize this um, to 1024 and then I'll go ahead to move this layer into the top layer and then I'll resize my um, content placeholder also to 1024 hit on enter and then um, let me just go ahead to do for the navigation so let me show the navigation over here reposition this to um, align right to the uh, menu icon I have in here change the size of this to 1024 and then I can go ahead to hide this as well so let me just go ahead to hide this here and then I'll come to the footer section. I'll start by making this also 1024. So I'll do this manually and that should be it. And then next I have to rearrange this to fit in here. So since it looks like this might not entirely fit in here, I might have to move some to the bottom. But before trying to move it to the bottom, let me just try to uh, move this a little bit here. And then let me try the um, the distribute evenly to see if it is going to be able to um, accommodate all of these items once that is achieved then there's no need to move them again so as you can see that has been achieved there's no need to move them and then i'm going to align these um, menu items or the text over here to the left hand side of this menu and then i have to reposition these icons because it looks like they're not going to be able to stay in here anymore so I'll move it a bit to the top over here, trying to align it to the text on my left, that is the United States. And then I'll align this particular text over all the menu items over here to the right. And then I'll change the size of this to 1024. And then I'll try to move this a little bit to the right, trying to have sort of even space in between here, even though it doesn't look so um, even, but it looks a bit okay. So let me just even get a bit closer to this instead. And then I have to select these objects and then um, align them exactly in the middle of the layer. So I'll move it a bit to the left with the help of the line. I can be sure it is aligned properly into the middle with even spacing. And then I'll move this a bit to the right because you notice that we've moved the top object a bit. So we have to align it properly again and then align this as well. So. That should be it for this particular section. I'll go ahead to save and then head over to the next uh, part, which is the 960 breakpoint. And then I'll repeat same over here as well. At this point, it is very clear that I can't have all these objects stuck the same way over here. So there'll be a need for me to expand the size of this particular layer and then go ahead to reposition them. Now the good thing is I already have um, these um, positioned in a different project. So I'll just go ahead and then get the positions and then replace them with what I have in here so that they fit in well the way I want them to. So I'll just copy this from my second screen and then reposition them over here. After doing that, let me just do the position for this section as well. And then align this to the left hand side of this and then distribute the space in between them evenly. So I'm going to select on this, highlight or select these ones also, and then select horizontal, that is distribution. And then align these to the left as well as um, this to the left also. Let me move this a little bit to the top and I should be okay with that. 
Next would be to reposition this particular text I have in here. So hit on enter and then I'll move this to the bottom of it. I have to reposition these objects as well. So I'll start by reposition this to the bottom a bit. Uh, let me just make that come here. I'm going to have these icons on top. So I'll have it somewhere here and making sure it's aligned to the right hand side or to the left any ways is okay. And then I can bring this to the bottom. So let me just um, keep this here. So let me align this to the right hand side of this. And then I have to change the size of this to 1024. I'm sorry, that this is going to be 960 instead because I'm at a 960 breakpoint. Now I have to be sure that the spacing to the right hand side is the same here. So I have to select these objects and then um, try to reposition them to the middle of the layer with the help of the guide. And then I just go ahead to align the text to the left hand side of um, these menu items. So let me do same for this as well. And then I can align this all to this and then i'll go ahead to align this to this as well and then um, for the icons i'll select all of them use the keyboard to move them manually to the right hand side making sure they are all aligned so that is basically about it for this section i'll go ahead to head over to the 768 pixels and then i'll make sure to have everything done here as well so at the 768 pixels, I have to reduce the size of the logo a little bit to make room for the object I have to my right hand side. So I think I move this into the wrong layer. So let me move this back and then move this back into this layer. And then I'll go ahead to reposition this. Um, I think I can even resize this a little bit so that I can move this to the top of it and then reposition it making way for the menu icon I have in there. So let me move this a little bit closer. It looks like I have to still move this away for some, uh, yes, a few pixels away. And then let me go ahead to show the close icon over here and then move it to the top of this menu icon. And then I'll go ahead to um, change the size of this to 768. Of course, I have to hide this icon but that is the close icon and then i'll change the size of the top layer to 768 pixels and then i'll move this layer into it and then i'll change the size of the um, content placeholder which is going to be 768 and i'll change the size of this as well to 768 now i'll scroll down a little bit and go ahead to reposition these um, objects or items in here So to make it look um, okay, I'm going to go ahead to move this a bit to the right hand side. I'll move this to the left hand side bottom here. And then um, I'll have to change the size of this. So let me just get a position for these um, from my other project. And then I'll just paste it over here so that I can align this to the left hand side of it. Um, let me make this come down so that I can distribute these um, evenly and then I'll align this to the left, align this also to the left and then I'll align these also to the left here and then do the same for this as well. Then I'll go ahead to um, move these objects a bit to the bottom here, aligning them to the right hand side of these, um, this object I have in here and then I move the icons also. So I move the icon somewhere here, which is aligned to the right hand side of this. I change the side of this to 768 pixels. Now you notice that the spacing here is not the same here. So I have to be able to take care of that. Either I move this some few pixels away and then select these objects and make sure they are positioned exactly in the middle. Yes, yeah, so that's how I'm going to go about it. So let me make sure they are positioned in the middle. Then it means I have to reposition these ob objects also again so that it matches what we have at the top. So I'll do that here. And after doing that, um, let me try to reposition um, these text a little bit to the bottom 
so I can have room for this. Let me close up this a little bit. Uh, so I might want to keep it this way. So I think it's fine this way. Move up a little bit and then um, go ahead to reposition this to the right hand side of this object. And then I'll do same for the icons so that they are neatly arranged here. So once this is done, I haven't done that for the navigation itself. So I have to come back and then align this to the right hand side of the menu icon. I change the size of this to 768. And then I'll go ahead to hide this entire layer so that um, it works exactly with the layer once I click on this uh, menu icon here. Next will be to do for the 480 pixels breakpoint and then finally to the 320 pixels breakpoint. So over here, I'm going to switch over to my other project and then take a look at what I did there. So I think I hit this um, object. So uh, before hiding it, of course, I have to move this out first. I have to move these to the left hand side so that it doesn't stay outside the breakpoint. And then I'll go to the object manager and then I, I can hide them. So I'll hide this. I'll go ahead to select this and then hide it as well. So let me just hide this here and then also hide the icon. So there's one more icon that was to the left hand side. And then I'll go ahead to move this a bit to the right hand side here, making or allowing space to the right hand side of the um, breakpoint. And then I'll go ahead to move the close icon. So I'll select the close icon and then I'll move it to the right hand side here on top of this and exactly. And then I'll change the size of this to 480 pixels. So I have to be sure it's 480 from the um, properties inspector. And then let me hide the close icon first. And then make sure that this is positioned exactly in the middle of this layer. And then after verifying that I have to be sure to have the close icon also position exactly on top of the menu icon and then hide it after that is done then I'll change the size of this particular breakpoint um, that is layer in this breakpoint to 480 pixels and then I'll go ahead to move this layer into it and then I'll change the size of this content placeholder to 480 pixels as well and then I'll go ahead to do same for the bottom part here now I have to reposition these objects to fit entirely to the layer here. But before I do that, I have to first change the size of this particular layer. So I'm going to go ahead to change the size and then the next will be to reposition them. So I'll start by reposition um, the text I have in here. So I'll start with this. I'll position that to the very bottom and then I'll have this position to the bottom of it, aligning it to the left hand side. And then I'll go ahead to reposition the resources um, menu. So I'll reposition this here. And then I'll move this to the top of it, making sure it is aligned to the left hand side. And then I'll have to move partners to the bottom here. So this is what I'll need to have now. Of course, this will have to come somewhere here. And then my copyright text will also be, have to fit somewhere here. And then I'll go ahead to move my icons also here now i have to make sure that this are uh, fitting exactly in the middle of the um are fitting exactly in this particular breakpoint that is 40 pixels so they are not coming outside so i'll do that and then i'll change the size of this to 480 i'll hit on enter and i have to go ahead to reposition these objects a bit to the right hand side this can stay in the middle because it's a bit longer and I can have um, these. Let me just go ahead to reposition this um, by aligning to the left hand side, selecting these object as well, and then position it exactly in the middle of this particular layer. And then once that is done, I can go ahead to align these also to the left hand side, and then align this to the right hand side, and make sure my icons are also well positioned here, aligning to the right hand side of the top um menu object i have in here and then i can keep this a little bit to the top to allow some space in between here and here and once this is done i'll come back here and then show my navigation um, hidden layer reposition this to 
um, exactly beneath this, align it to the left hand side of the menu, change the size of the lay entire layer itself to 480 pixels. And then after doing that, I'll go ahead to hide it here. So I'll go ahead to do the same for the 320 pixels breakpoint. And then from there, we can continue to the index page and then take a look at how to make that the object over there also responsive. One important thing to note is that for this particular uh, menu over here, you notice that on the 480 pixels, it looks different here. But when I come to the 320 pixels, it's arranged in a vertical way. So the good thing is I can align this to the left hand side. That is what I'm going to do here so that it doesn't look this way. So I come to text, change the alignment to the left and that should be it. And then I'll go ahead to reduce the size and then I'll go ahead to reposition it over here that is at the footer section so i'll scroll down a bit i will paste the link uh, that is the text i'll paste the position for it and then have it repositioned over here now i have to uh, move the icons over here that is the social media icons have to position it to the bottom over here let me just get it yes yeah, so this is fine and then i'll go ahead to reposition the menu items that i have here so i'll start with this and then I'll put or place this on top of it. I'll move this to the bottom here. And then I'll have um, company next. And then I'll have carriers. You notice that I'm not positioning them in a perfect way just because I want to be able to align them in a proper way. So I'm going to start by clicking and selecting all of them here. And then I'll go ahead to align all of them to the left hand side here. And then after doing that, I'll select um, the menu items only and then distribute vertically. And then I'll do same for the text as well. So I'll select this and then finally select this and then distribute vertically. So it positions on top, exactly on top of the uh, menu items over here. So that should be it for the footer section. After that, I'll go ahead to show the navigation menu over here. And then I'll also change the size of this. I think the size is fine. So I'll just go ahead to reposition this and then change the size of this. And then I'll go ahead to hide it over here. So I'm basically done for the uh, master page. But to be sure it's fine, I have to preview this in the browser. So I'll start off by going through the um, default page, which is the thousand. I think that the default page is um, higher than thousand four hundred. I'll start off with that, and then I'll continue with the other pages. I think it's taking some time to load. I have to check on that. So I have this uh, loaded here. I'll go ahead to go to the responsive um, section here, and then let me just start with thousand four hundred first. And then click on the navigation, making sure it shows the way I want it. So I'll continue with 1200 and then verify that as well. That works fine. I'll continue with 960 and then I should check 768 as well. That is also fine. And then I'll continue with 480 pixels and then finally I'll continue with 320 pixels. So as you can see, Everything is working well here. Um, next will be to go ahead to make the um, index page responsive. So I'm going to save my work and then I'll go ahead to head over to the index section. So I already have the breakpoint created for the index um, page. 
what I have to be doing from here is just go about um, re repositioning and a resizing object to fit in the respective breakpoint. So I'm going to start with a thousand four hundred pixels, and then I'll start by resizing this to thousand four hundred, and I'm going to reposition this as well. So I have the position of this from the other project. So I'll just go ahead and then specify that here, and then I'm going to align this to the left hand side of this. That should be it. And I'll do same. So I re, um, let me just align these. Let me select this, select this as well, select this, and then go ahead to select this and then align it to the left. Go ahead to align these also to the right of this. And then I'll go ahead to use the um, horizontal um, Tizen to distribute evenly here. And then I'll go ahead to do same for this as well and then I'll reposition this to the right hand side of this and then I'll change the size of this layer to 1400 so once that is done I'll go ahead to save this I'll head over to 1200 pixels and then I'll start by changing the size of this to 1200 this looks um, fine so let me just um, center it align it to the center of this and then I would go ahead to align these. Uh, let me just be sure where this should be aligned. So I think this the size of this looks too much from here. So I'll have to reduce it a little bit to this. This looks fine. Um, let me just resize this instead. So I think this is fine for now. Let me go ahead to move this some few pixels away from the right hand side this is okay and then i'll align this to the center of this so i'll go ahead to position this to the left hand side of this and then i'll go ahead to align these um, cards to the left hand side of this layer and i'll do same for these ones also so i'll align these to the right hand side of this layer and then i'll distribute evenly here do same for this and then do same for this as well and then i'll align this um let me just do it for this i'll align this to the right hand side here and then i'll change the size of this 2200 um yeah i think i'm gonna have to check this again because i didn't change the size of this so it seems to be a bit out of um the break point so i have to check the size for the objects i have in here so i start off by changing the size of this and then i'll change the position of this text so I'll do so here and then I'll change the size of this the main layer here so I'll replace the size here and then I'll go ahead to align this to the right hand this should be fine now so let me just do that and then do this as well and then I'll go ahead to um, set the size relative um, horizontal size in. And then go ahead to make the size um, that is distributed evenly here. Let me just be sure if the size of these cards are not different from what I have in here. So they seem to be a bit different. So let me just, um, okay, so this is fine. Because the reason why you have to, you might have to reduce the sizes of the card is because you have enough space to work from here. So now I can go ahead to align these to the right hand side of this layer and then this is already aligned to the left so i'll just go ahead to distribute um evenly here that is a horizontal space in between them and that should be okay so i think uh, i don't i don't want them to have this size so let me just this is actually a way you can go ahead to scale down the size entirely but that's not what i want over here so I'll just undo this and then go with my size and as um, by using this and then using this also and then align them to the right and left and then distribute the um, size and horizontally and that should be it so i'll go ahead to align this also to the right and then change the size of this now to 1200 and that should be fine so as you can see this is fine here and then i'll go ahead to the other brick point and then continue from there now, before I continue to the other brick point, to be sure that this is entirely in the middle, I have to right click on this and select 
um, horizontally, that is center horizontally. You notice that it moved a little bit to the left hand side. So I have to correct um, these also by moving them a little bit to the left and then go ahead to align this also to the right because there was some movement and then I can go ahead to do the distribution and I'll select these object and then align them to the center of this so that is done now and I can continue to the other breakpoints one more thing before I continue to the other big point is I forgot to move the text at the top here, which has to be aligned to the left of it. So I've done that now. I can finally go to the 1024 pixel. So I'll start by changing the size of this to 1024. And then I have to reposition these um, objects here. So I have to first reduce the size of the layer over here. After doing that, let me try to let me just align it to the right hand side first. And then um, let me get a size from the other project. So this is 970 pixels. Let me try to see if I can get 970 from here. So this is 970. Let me change this to 970. Okay, that's changed from here. I don't want that to be from there. Right. So let me now make this 970 pixels and then align it to the center of this layer. And then I'll have to change the size of the object I have below here. So I'll start by changing the size of this. And then also I have to reposition the text next to the image. And then I'll have to change the size of um, this layer here. And then I'll have to position this exactly in the middle. Yes, so align it to the left. Um, that is the middle of the top layer and then align this to the left. So I start off by changing the size of this. I change this also. And then to this, and then I'll finally go to the ones I have at the bottom as well. So I'll do that for all these um, objects. And then let me just do for this also, do for this as well as do for this. And then I'll finally um, align them to the left hand side. But I have to start by reposition the top one first here. And then that should move a bit to the top here. Then I'll go ahead to use this um that is the the one i just repositioned as um you know guide to be able to reposition this one and then i'm going to have this also aligned to the top so let me start by selecting these align it to the top and then distribute um evenly here and then i'll go ahead to reposition these ones also so i reposition this and then i'll reposition the one at the bottom here as well so then I go ahead to align these to the top of this and then I align this to the left or right instead and then distribute evenly here. And then I would also align these two to the top of this and then align this to the right and then distribute these um, two, um, three evenly here. And then I'll go ahead to reposition my pagination over here. So let me just copy that from my other project and then paste that here. And then I'm going to change the size of the entire layer over here. So, so let me just uh, change the size of this and that should be it. So I'm done with the 1024. I'll go ahead to the 960 breakpoint. And then um, let me just start by changing the size of this to 960. And then let me, I have to reposition the text at the top. I actually forgot to do that for the 1024. So let me just do that here. And then come back to my 960. Let me just um, reposition that as well. And then I'll change the size of the layer containing the icon. So that should be 909. Let me just. Uh, OK, so this is fine. And then I'll position it exactly in the middle here. And then I'll go ahead to change the size of the layer. Um, that is the image I have within this layer here. And after doing so, I'll go ahead to resize the text. So this time it looks like I have to resize the text. Okay, it's fine. Let me just go ahead to reposition the text here. And then I can go ahead to reduce the size of the um, layer itself over here. So let me just go ahead to do that. 
and let me try to align this to this um, in the middle way so there's some spacing on the top as well as at the bottom and then i can go ahead to resize my cards at the bottom so let me start with this and then i'll continue with this and then continue with this as well as do for this for this and then finish up with the entire cards that i have here So after doing that, I'll go ahead to align this to the right hand side of this and then um, do same for the ones I have here. And then I'll go ahead to distribute that's using this first one as a um, guide. And then I'll align these ones to the middle of this so they stay in the same um, position. And then I'll align this to the right hand side. So I'm basically done with the 960 pixels. Next, I'll have to change the size of this entire layer to 960 pixels and then make sure everything is positioned in the center of it. So let me just start off with this and align this to the left hand side. So I have to actually align these ones also. It is very important to have your project aligned properly so that it looks okay or clean from whatever device that is being used to browse the pages. So I'll do the same for these ones as well and then I'll align all these to the center of this so that I have even spacing between them all. Let me align this also to the right and that should be it for the 960 pixels breakpoint. So I'm now going to head over to the 768 pixels breakpoint and I'm going to do the same here. So it's basically doing just the same thing. So I'm going to fast forward this until I get to the maybe 480 pixels or 320 pixels and then I continue talking from there. So you notice that I have been working on the 480 pixels breakpoint and this takes a little bit different twist compared to the other breakpoint. So over here, because we are limited with the space available, we have to try as much as possible to um, arrange or reposition the object over here so that it's visible because you are watching this on a very small um, screen de device screen. And then also it is clear enough to also read whatever information is here. So there's the need to enlarge the object, especially the cards. And then after doing so, create even space in between them so that instead of having maybe two pair or maybe two columns, you have just one column where these objects are stacked on top of each other, which becomes easier to see and read. So after the 480 pixels breakpoint i'll head over to the 320 pixels breakpoint and then i'll finalize everything from here so from here also i'll change the size of this and then i'm going to change this to 320 and then instead of um, having the icons aligned to either the left or the right this time around i'm going to have them aligned to the middle so um, it looks like i might have to get them a bit closer to each other so I'll do that. Let me move this a bit to the left here and then get this a bit closer to this so that I can select all of them and then have them evenly distributed. And then I'll close up this. So this should be 320 pixels. Let me go ahead to position this well. And then let me make sure that all of this, I think by selecting them, I mistakenly move them. So let me make sure they are all well um, uh, positioned. So that's a stand. And then I'll go ahead to get a size for the respective section. So I'll select um, the image at the top over here, resize it. I'll go ahead to select the text also. So I resize the text also over here. Let me move it up here. And then I'll go ahead to change the size of the layer itself so the layer is going to be resized as well so that i can reposition this 
and the middle of this particular layer. So I'll select the entire layer and make sure it is aligned to the center here. And then I'll go ahead to resize the um, cards that are here. So I'll start resizing them one after the other. Uh, maybe move this a little bit to the top. I'll resize this also. I'm going to resize this. I'll resize this as well. And then resize this. This one also. I'll resize this as well. And also resize this. And I finally resize this. And then get a position of the very last um, cut. So I'll get a position from the other project. And then I'll paste that here so that I can now align them as well as um, set evenly distribute um, vertically um, so that I get even spacing between them. So I'm going to select all of them and then I'm going to distribute vertically so the spaces are the same and then align them to the center so that it stays exactly in the middle over there. And then I'll go ahead to reposition my pagination as well. So I'll bring that also a bit to the top and then after doing so i'll change the entire size of the layer itself so i'll resize the layer here and i think i need to allow some small space in here and then move this a little bit to the bottom so that i'm able to um, have spaces in between the two of the objects here so basically that's just about it for the 40 pixels breakpoint now to be sure everything is okay there's a need to um, preview this in the browser. So I'm going to go ahead to preview this in the browser and then go through the uh, pages one after the other. So I'll start off by going to the responsive section here and then I'll start with 1,400 pixels. So I'll scroll through to make sure everything is okay. I can even click on that navigation here to be sure if it's working properly. And after so doing, I'll go to the 1,200 pixels, uh, browse through every aspect of it, make sure everything is okay. And then I'll continue with a 10, 24 pixels. So I'll do that as well and make sure everything is fine here. And then I'll proceed to the 960 pixels. Everything is fine as well. And then finally continue to the 768 part. And once that is okay, I'll proceed to the 40 pixels, which is for mobile. So 40 pixels and that looks okay. So as I, as I said earlier, you notice that this time around, we have just one column and the objects are stacked on top of each other and it's easier to you know see and read so i'll continue to 320 which is also same as you can see that's also just like the 40 pixels and this around we have the um icons over here the social media icons positioned in the middle so basically that is just about uh, making this particular project responsive you notice that once you're making it responsive there are sections where you keep repeating what you do at other breakpoints by simply resizing and reposition it continues through to the um, very end breakpoints that you have. So that is just about it for this particular video. Thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. I'll see you in the next one.